Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news regarding Unreal Engine 5 and the performance we can expect on the next generation consoles. Now, shout out to Fonz Gaming for actually bringing this to my attention. Now, I gotta say, the last few weeks, or I should say the last few releases, a lot of gamers have been a little bit worried, skeptical that the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 will continue to play games at 60 FPS, especially when it's just on a next generation engine. Now I do believe that the Series X and PlayStation 5 will be 60 FPS for the foreseeable future, but with some of the next generation engines, I do see some of them running at 30 FPS. Now today we got a huge update from Epic Games regarding the performance on the Xbox Series X. Now they go on to say that we've laid the groundwork for aluminum dynamic global illumination and reflection systems, the nanite virtualized micro polygon geometry system, man that is a mouthful, and virtual shader maps to support games and experiences running at 60 FPS on the next generation consoles and capable PCs. Now this is fantastic news. Now I was a little bit worried that most of the games that would be running on Unreal Engine 5 on the next generation systems would be running at 30 fps now they're already making concessions by running it at 1080p internal resolution of course this is upscale to 4k but the internal resolution is 1080p so it is already pretty low now don't get me wrong this still looks good as you can see the matrix demo and the other unreal engine 5 games that are out there they all look fantastic in fact on today's video it's all unreal engine 5 games running in the background so you get a little bit of an idea of what to expect with this new graphic technology. Like I was saying, I was a little bit skeptical about games running at 60 FPS, but it appears that they are shooting for a 60 FPS goal on the next generation consoles. Now, Digital Foundry did speak about this yesterday at their direct weekly event, or I should say their podcast, and I'll just show a little bit of this clip here and I'll come back and give you guys my thoughts. We have a number of uh, uh, change logs here, but their change log for Unreal Engine 5.1 that talks about uh, the targeting of 60 FPS uh, for Unreal Engine 5 on consoles uh, is set in stone right now with the high preset that they're um, going to be enabling uh, for developers. And obviously you could try it out yourself too. That adjusts the quality of things like um, virtual shadow maps, Lumen and Nanite itself uh, to run better at or try and achieve 60 FPS targets on console level hardware, which means basically PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, and we have a, a pretty good sense of what that means, at least in terms of uh, the scaling for Lumen, uh, based upon a presentation done at SIGGRAPH to get it uh, running a lot better. Um, uh, they try they try and adjust the quality of uh, lumen reflections and lumens uh, diffused uh, global illumination and that is by the original preset was uh, targeting 1080p internally on PlayStation 5 with one fourth uh, rays per pixel so it's like one fourth resolution um, lighting and reflections which is pretty typical that's like what we also saw in um, uh, how do you call it. Watchdogs, uh, Legion's uh, reflections. It's also what we saw in Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition on console. Those were also one fourth ray per pixel. Pretty common thing to do on console, and it can look pretty darn good. And we, as we already saw in the Matrix and all these other demos, it looks pretty great. Um, for their 60 FPS high mode, they're moving it to 1 16th res, um, which um, I think for diffuse things like 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 for like Lumen in the Land of Nanite, that original demo where it's just like really diffuse objects and not a lot of detail, uh, I think it can still look really good for those surfaces. But for anything that is like a lot of occluding stuff or anything that is glossy, let alone reflective, uh, it's gonna be pretty, I don't know, uh, we can maybe do a test for that and see what it looks like. But I imagine 1 16th resolution lighting doesn't look too good for a number of surfaces. Uh, so the, as a part of their uh, change log here, they're mentioning that they still want to get it up to quote unquote acceptable quality. So we'll see what that is in the meantime. Uh, but it could lead to a very interesting situation where the high and the epic modes here, like the 30 FPS and the 60 FPS targets, actually look pretty different which is something we're not used to seeing in a lot of games. So there you have it. Now I found some very interesting things that Alex said. He said he's a little bit worried that the high and the epic levels will look quite different because they're using, you know, 1 14th of the resolution for some of the reflections. Now this 
I think is a good trade-off. I think if you want to have all the fidelity, then you have the option of running this game at 4K 30 FPS. Now, if you want to prioritize the uh, 60 FPS, then you have this setting here. Of course, it's not going to look as good, but you're going to have the smoothness of 60 FPS. And I think that's a great trade-off for the next generation consoles. Now, I'm going to take a wait and see approach. I need to see this in action because these are targets that they're shooting for. So we have to see if developers are actually able to achieve 60 FPS with this new update of Unreal Engine 5 on the next generation consoles. I am excited for the potential that these games will run at 60 FPS. I do think that Unreal Engine 5 is the future. I also do believe that Microsoft first party games will look and run excellent with Unreal Engine 5. Coalition's work with Unreal Engine 5 already is amazing and I know in the future their games will showcase the full potential of Unreal Engine 5. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about all of this do you think it's a big deal that unreal engine 5s at least they're shooting for a 60 fps target on the next generation consoles do you think they'll be able to achieve that let me know in the comment section down below and like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one